Over the past 10 years, Lexus has been hard at work trying to shed the grandpa's car image, trading in soft luxury for premium sport. With the 2013 GS, Lexus hits a new high of performance handling and cabin technology. Throw in a hybrid powertrain, and you have one of the best techie stands around. This is the 2013 Lexus GS 450H. <laughs> in the room in the cabin of the Lexus is this big screen. It's a 12.3 inch LCD. Most of the time the screen has a split. It shows a, ma a map or whatever the main function is on the left side. On the right side you get this smaller auxiliary screen which shows you maybe the music that's playing right now or it's also got this energy monitor for your trip information. And you control stuff on this screen with this little controller right here which I think it should have a more solid feel given that this is a you know, pretty high-end car. And also, it's sometimes hard to hit the buttons on the screen and really hit the mark you want. But another way to control this is with voice command. And this car has excellent voice command. So if I just hit the button on the steering wheel. After the beep, say a shortcut menu command. Play artist, Fleetwood Mac. Play artist, Fleetwood Mac. But we also have the Lexus N form system here, and that, that's very similar to the Toyota N tune system. So what that is, that's that's Lexus's app integration strategy. The N form app is running on my iPhone, and that's uh, paired to the car. It'll work Bluetooth paired. It'll also work if it's cabled into the car. So I've got my app screen launched here, and I've got apps like Pandora, Open Table, Yelp, and I've also got Bing Search. And the cool thing about Bing is that I also can do voice search with it. I can't actually use the, the voice command button on the steering wheel. I have to go to this little microphone icon on the screen. Hamburger. And now I've got a list of the results. I'll hit the hamburger result with the controller here. And so I've got an in and out burger. Hit the result for that. And I get an icon for the map. So I can just program that right in as I'm going. And also on this console, we've got this dial here below the shifter. That puts the car into different uh, drive modes. We've got eco to the left. This will detune the gas pedal and just you know, frustrate the heck out of you when you want to actually get going. You can turn it to the right and you get in the sport mode. This tunes the transmission to keep the revs up higher and keep power up all the time. Then you can turn it once more to the right and you get the sport plus mode. Uh, sport plus actually retains that uh, transmission profile and also changes the suspension. It actually dials in a more rigid suspension. So with a hybrid system, what they actually do is they start out with a 3.5 liter V6. It's got direct injection and port injection, which is a little weird. The reason why they do that is port injection is, is quieter, and so it uses port injection when the engine is running at slower speeds. It goes to direct injection, which is a lot more efficient when it's running at higher speeds. Along with this engine, they add this hybrid system. And the system all combined produces 338 horsepower. That's a bit more than the V6, a little less than the V8. But the real win here is you've got 30 miles per gallon average. That's what we've been getting. Uh, I think EPA numbers are like 29 city, 34 highway. But 30 is great. 30 is like 10 miles per gallon better than you'd get with the V6 and probably a couple more than you'd get with the V8. This is a great engine. It's also got a lot of power. That 338 horsepower will actually you know, bring it to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds, according to Lexus. So it's fast and it gets great fuel economy. I mean, what more could you want? As a full hybrid, the Lexus GS 450H, they'll turn off its engine when I'm stopped at the light. Uh, if I let my foot off the brake, start creeping forward, It'll move forward under electric power. What I find with this car, it's, it's really too heavy to stay in EV mode for a long time. If you want to get out of people's way from behind you, you really need to push that accelerator, and, and, uh, which will kick the engine. You know, there's just really no getting around that. But what I also find is that you, know, you can get moving, and with the engine going, then just as you're kind of at cruising speed, lift off the accelerator really quick. It'll and usually the engine will cut off if you're at speeds like under 35 miles per hour, and then you can get going. Now, we're on a little bit of rough road right now, and I, I can feel 
the uh, fairly rigid suspension. And this is a, a change Lexus has made from the old days of old sort of grandpa cars with soft suspensions. They made the suspension more rigid to help the handling. And that leads to, you know, maybe a little more bumps, but it handles it pretty competently. When you uh, put it in sport plus plus mode, it actually tightens up that suspension and uh, makes it handle actually surprisingly well. And that hybrid powertrain actually gives it a, a lot more power than the, the standard V6 car. You get that uh, uh, zero to 60 in I think they say 5.6 seconds, which is, is not bad at all. The Lexus GS450H goes for $58,950. With this car, we also have the blind spot monitor. That's $500, I'd get that. We also have this luxury package, which is $5,205 and includes all sorts of little trim elements and nice stuff, little gimmicks here and there. You could get that or not, nothing really essential there. And the navigation system with that 12.3 inch screen goes for $1,735. That's essential, you'll want to get that. The GS450H hits a lot of high points in tech. The hybrid system gets great power and great fuel economy. The adaptive suspension gives it great handling. And it's got app integration with all those other cabin tech features. It's all around a great tech car, and I have no problem giving it an editor's choice.